this week. Uh, we'll be giving away tickets to... Look uh, at my guy. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah, I got Hip-hop your back. Hip-hop made in the bay. Forget. <laughs> Hip-hop made in the bay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Evan came in and said something that he didn't know we discussed, but I wanted to throw it by you because I can't remember your answer now as we had the conversation early last week, Stani. All right. With this blunder... And if you can look at the TV that are in the studios, every national show is the Niners and Kyle botch this. Should the Niners bring in somebody to kind of, as Evan put it, check Kyle Shanahan? Well, and, and, Proofread his work. And who would be? And they're, they don't. They're not there hey, now. Hey, hey! When you guys all come out of Dream World, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, okay. Accountability. Hey, hey Kyle. Oh, no. Hey, Jed, it's Kyle. Hey, I'm struggling a little bit with this personnel thing. Can we get somebody in here to babysit me, please? No, no, no. Yeah, that's quarterback, the, that's not the, personnel. Oh, that quarterback. Make it even more QB. Yeah, Help get somebody out, to oversee Evan. the quarterback position for Kyle QB Shanahan. One. No, that's not how it works. Yeah. Kyle Shanahan was hired to be the number one guy. Uno. When John Lynch was hired, John Lynch knew he would have to take a knee. To Kyle Shanahan, which he's done. Kyle runs the show. Kyle's always going to well, run the show that. until he gets. So the answer's no. It's happened in the NBA though. Like Doc Rivers was the general manager and, and head coach, him. and they stripped him of general manager duties because okay, he it. couldn't do it. Sure. Okay. And how long did he last after that? Not long. Yeah. How long is Kyle Shanahan going to last? Kyle Shanahan's going to last at least two more years here, which means his tenure, his first tenure as a head coach is probably going to go longer than 95% of tenures of first, uh, first-time first head coaches. He's in year seven. But it's about reputation. Sorry. I mean, okay, look, honestly, let's say uh, things fall apart this year. They go nine, they go eight, nine, and miss the playoffs. First of all, I don't think you'd fire him. No, but you if wouldn't. you did fire him, guess who's getting a job right away? He, he would Kyle get, Shanahan. No doubt. But it's about... This we you can do whatever you want with your fandom or your non fandom, Stani. But when I say Kyle Shanahan, for a, before we found out what Lance was going to be, Evan, you tell me if you agree. I had so much confidence in what he would tell me a quarterback was supposed to be, and that's why everybody got excited when Lance got drafted, even though he was relatively unknown. I put my football or quarterback trust in Kyle's evaluation. So I thought Lance was going to pop. I thought with the toolage of Kyle that, oh, my gosh, Donovan McNabb, rest in peace to the uh, Air McNair. I thought we were about to see the next. And it didn't take off. He fell on his face. So moving forward, if Kyle ever has to draft another quarterback, I'm going to be or I need to call somebody a lifeline. Stiney Kyle's the CJ Beathard online too, and I know that was different, but he traded up to, tra- to draft him. I'm not calling Kyle, so there was some collateral damage. I don't I, like the. When did they move up to get Beathard? Into what round? Second. Nah, I think it was. I thought it was third. But nevertheless, he moved up. Yeah, he traded to move up but, to but, but, identify. I, I that's my guy. No, that identifies a guy you kind of like and you want to give a shot to. But Beathard Trey had Lance a chance is, like Purdy and could have no. kept the job though, Stani. Yeah, just, but, but moving up to get when did they get Beathard? When did they? It was a late third round. Okay, pick, so no. they, they moved up to the hundred and fourth position. That's a guy that you like and you want to take a shot at. Right. Trey Lance is a franchise altering no. uh, one decision. of five that were out there. So, well, three after two. I mean, get, yeah. that's the one. But <sighs> no, you can't. You can't. All right. You can't bring somebody in to oversee Kyle. Kyle is who oversees. But you didn't answer the question. Do you still have confidence in Kyle to do what? Recognizing quarterback talent. Or is Brock Purdy like goo? First of all, I never, first of all, I knew nothing about Kyle Shanahan before he got here. So I never was like, this guy's a genius. Oh. This guy's a quarterback genius. He's a quarterback whisperer. He's the greatest thing ever. Right. Wait till quarterbacks work with him. Every quarterback comes to with so much potential. He reaches potential. He's okay. Like, obviously, I think, I think he gets the most out of a certain kind of quarterback. But I also think there's something about Shanahan where he's reluctant to want to coach another type of quarterback and it's the type of quarterback that maybe he's got a little more independence. Maybe he's got a little more talent. Maybe he would be more willing to push back on Kyle Shanahan. Mm. Look, I, like, I, the one thing I do think Brock Purdy and Kyle Shan- and and uh, 
and Trey Lance have in common where they were, look, one guy came into the NFL with virtually no college experience. The other guy came into the NFL with college experience, but as the last pick in the draft. So I think Kyle's the kind of coach that looks at both those guys, and both guys are nice guys. They're 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 Midwest guys. Yeah. They're you know they're they're humble. They're polite. They're grown up. And I think Kyle looked at both those guys and said, "Well, I can coach these guys." And the and how yeah. come? Because they'll do whatever I say. They'll do whatever I say because they're young and they're unproven. But. That's why I think he ran into some problems with Garoppolo. Because okay. Garoppolo could sit there and say, you know, I don't want to be a jerk, yeah. but I played for Bill Belichick. Under Brady. Thank but you. That's your prerogative until now we can look back and say there were other opportunities to go get a seasoned veteran he like didn't a Tom Brady. One. He and can't coach Rogers. Tom Brady. That, How the hell was that, Kyle Shanahan what, with his disposition yeah, going to coach those guys? That's what bothers me, though. Huh? How many coaches that are really in it to win it have that prima donna type of attitude? Frank Sinatra, do it my way. And I know that's a part of coaching. But now there was a, a, a conversation for Brady, and he goes to Tampa Bay and wins the Super Bowl. With Oh, my gosh. Like, that's when it gets in the way. And Kyle... Like, it's fair to criticize that. Like, dude, it's supposed to be, you supposed to, it's supposed to be about championship or bust, not old guys are not going to listen to me type of stuff. Well, and that gets back to his arrogance. He thinks what he can win word. a Super Bowl without one of those word, guys. Man, what a word. But he obviously thinks he can win a Super Bowl without one of those guys. He's got damn close. Well, that's, he's been the route, the one. that's the route that he's with going. With Jimmy, and then he almost right. was one last year.